morning and thanks for joining me for Monday Muse. Um, today I have got to go, once I've published this, into town and pick up my car because for the last week or two it's had this dreaded sign. Yes, engine malfunction. And I don't know exactly what that engine malfunction sign uh, meant. I didn't know what the problem was under the bonnet. And I, and I had a choice to make. I could be tempted to just carry on regardless and just keep going. The car's still kind of working, getting me from A to B. Um, and, uh, and, and I could sort of not want to face up to the financial implication or the challenge of being without the car for a few days. Um, but no, I made that decision to go and uh, get it looked at and the, the mechanic was able to do the diagnostic and work out what was the problem and do something about it. I think sometimes in our own lives we can be a little bit like that. We can see some warning signs, maybe some sign of burnout, um, lack of energy or some emotional responses to situations, you know, maybe more anger than we might usually experience or a physical symptoms, some pain of some kind. And if we uh, can be tempted to carry on regardless and ignore these warning signs, then I think just like if I did so with my car, where the, the damage that could be done eventually in my car, if I just carried on regardless and let it just roll and roll and roll and roll on, um, it would end up potentially doing way more damage, even irretrievable damage to the car. Uh, maybe in our lives we can be tempted to do a little bit of that and just carry on regardless and not actually face up to the reality of the challenges or the warning signs that are coming up. But I want to encourage you today that perhaps if there are some warning signs, some of those symptoms that life is just not quite right or something's up, maybe engine malfunction is just flashing up, um, go and talk to somebody, talk to a trusted friend or church leader, talk to a counsellor uh, and if necessary go and find a medical professional who can help you with whatever it is that uh, you're dealing with today. I'm going to sing Oh Come to the Altar from Elevation Worship, um, a song which I found really valuable personally over the last few years. It's an invitation to come to God just as we are and uh, find our strength in Him. Do you thirst for a dream? 
Bless you. Thanks for joining in. I just pray for you today that uh, if there's anything that uh, you could do with some support and help with, that you would be able to find the right place and the right people to go to. Amen.